Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a bokisuya. The first step in making our suya is going ahead to gather up all of our necessary ingredients. I went ahead and gathered up everything for you, so go ahead and screenshot this. Sorry guys, I forgot to add in the photo my vegetable oil, my skewer sticks, my mixing bowl, and my foil pan. So the first thing you want to do is gather all your ingredients. So sea salt, this is the Oda. So Oda is a West African spice. You can find this at any African grocery shops around. Garlic powder. I'm going to be using two cubes of Maggi. This is beef, um, preferably. I do prefer um, the chicken stock. However, if you have beef, you don't have chicken, or even shrimp, you can use it for your beef suya. Paprika, um, ground nutmeg powder, ground ginger powder. Next, you're going to be needing these special peppers. I find these at any ethnic store. They're called Japanese chili pods. Also, I like to use a mortar for this process rather than a blender because it makes it so much more easy. The goal with my mortar is to pretty much separate the seeds inside of the shell of these peppers because you will only be needing the shell. The next ingredient is going to be your peanut butter powder, your red hot pepper, love the African pepper because it's very spicy, your garlic powder and your skewer sticks. So this is where you would go ahead and grab your mixing bowl to mix up all of your ingredients once it's been blended together once you have all your ingredients mixed together, you're going to go ahead and transfer the mixture into your foil pan or any sort of flat pan that would allow you to razzle dazzle your skewered meat. As you can see here, I just finished pounding the pepper to separate the inner seeds from the outer shell of the pepper. So this is the outer shell that I'll be using. The goal is to make sure that there's minimal seeds within the outer shell that I will be using for the actual suya mix. So I added my uda into my mortar and I pounded it open because all I will be needing from the uda is the actual seeds inside of it. This is where all the flavor comes from and you don't want to add the outer shell. Suya mix as it'll make the suya mixture grainy. So, this is me blending the peppers and the udon. For one cup of peanut butter powder, I use one fourth measurement of the other powders. Here, I am adding into my blender, which already has my pepper and my uda together, the peanut butter mixture with my other powders. Next, prep your meat. The meat we'll use is the beef round tip steak. It's boneless and it's perfect for suya. So when I cut my meat in preparation to be added to my skewer sticks, I prefer to cut the meat longitudinal. I prefer this method as opposed to cutting it the shorter way just because I feel that it gives you, my meat more density on the skewer stick. So after cutting my flaps of meat longitudinal to strips, I went ahead and cut about three to four pieces per strip and started filling up my skewer sticks. As you can see, I do like my skewer sticks very full and dense. Don't be stingy with the meat. Make sure your skewer sticks is full. <laughs> this way you would enjoy it and your guests as well.
The last step would be to go ahead and razzle dazzle your skewered meat with your um, suya mixture. When you're done with that, you're gonna go ahead and sprinkle oil all over your meat on the skewer, add to the oven or a grill. Leave on about um, 20 minutes, turning over every five minutes or so or just kind of eyeing your skewer and in the end you should have this deliciousness i went ahead and sprinkled additional pepper on top of my meat i like to serve my suya with a side of cut tomatoes diced onions and um, sliced cabbage go ahead and serve this also with a chilled drink to your guests or just as an appetizer and also you could actually just have this for a family night in. It's amazing. Enjoy! Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe down below, like this, give it a thumbs up, and tune back every week for new videos.